Yes, welcome back, you beautiful souls. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show opening up right here on S3 and diving into absolute quality conversation, and especially with regards to a little bit earlier where we learned about a daycare center looking after children with special needs. But now we're changing that focus. On the other end of the spectrum, the elderly, and in particular the problem of loneliness that many people face as they approach their twilight years. And you know this, you know that we love a good story about someone turning their life around. And we're joined this morning by Greg Mitchley, the bad boy gone good who founded the Greg Mitchley Foundation to combat elder loneliness and to find out more about his motivating story and work. He's here this morning to share more about that. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, morning. How are you doing? <laughs> She's a work a bit early. I couldn't find my middle path. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm glad you went without me because you're trying to invite this morning, man. You're looking Thank you, good. Man. But Greg, it. let's dive straight into it. We don't have a lot of time. I want yes. to hear about your story because it sounds incredible. It's inspiring. You were on somewhat of a different uh, walk in life yeah, before yeah, yeah. things turned around. Yeah. What was happening and what incited that change, man? Yeah, geez, if I had to sum it up quickly, it was my life was extremely unpredictable, mm -hmm. crazy, wild. Um, put it this way, I always seemed to, to select or choose the wrong road, the wrong path, you okay. know? But then I believe there comes a time in your life where you've got to stop, look yourself in the mirror and be brutally honest and just say to yourself, um, you know, what am I doing? Where am I going? Are you really happy with what you see? And you've got to call a spade a spade and say, no, you've got to make a change now. And, uh, that's what happened pretty much, and then history, it's all in history now. I, I usually call that the come to Jesus moment where you know you have to really like reflect and take time to say, you know, what is my purpose? Where am I going with mm. this? And that is, that is kind of the moment that you had in 2017. You yeah. know, your father had passed on. He was living his last age, uh, days in a nursing home. Yes. And that really sparked where you said, you know what, I want to give back. I want to see to the elderly and really combat loneliness. Tell us about that. Yeah, geez, it's, uh, people talk about stress. Um, as a number one killer, I think loneliness is to be cooped up in four walls. I think it's quite a, it's quite a, it's a sad story. Mm. Um, just to add to that, uh, when I went out to visit one of my dads in one of his elderly, elderly homes, I was waiting for the manager while they were busy just sorting my dad out, fixing him and dressing him and stuff. And I saw a door open down the, down the corridor. So I thought, let me just go and put, pop my head in there. I got inside, started speaking to this elderly lady, just asked her questions, something like simple, like, what's your favorite TV program? What's your favorite food? Just natural questions. Like and she was like, just staring at me. So I had to go, like, I get her alive. I said, are you, are you there? She goes, yeah, I am. Yeah, I just appreciate your, your time. Uh. But yeah, 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 the big part, where she started telling me about, like, January has 31 days, March has this, and June has 30 days, and I couldn't, and then the manager came. So I gave her a hug, I went goodbye, I said goodbye. I said to the manager, what? Like, why does she know all those dates? And she said to me, when she was 70, her family dropped her off. She's now 86, and she hasn't heard. She, she, she makes sure there's a payment being made so that you can stay there for the next month. And that's been going on for 16 wow. years. She doesn't know where her family, where her daughters, she's got grandchildren. 16 years, she's been on her own, and she doesn't have a clue who or what's happening out there. So I think that was a huge thing for me where I hey said... Man, I mean, that's stuck. enough to kind of get anybody <laughs> off the couch and trying to do something, but for you, it did something more important and it got you to start the Greg Mitchley Foundation, right? 100%. I love what you're talking about because it's a constant conversation I'm having about we spend so much time in our lives acquiring things, material possessions, and we have all these things like money and fame and all this stuff that we chase, but at the end of the day, what is it if you can't share it with anyone and you're sitting there all alone this incited you to a point where you're doing something special with your foundation. Yeah. What exactly is it though? Because you're combating loneliness. You're combating these issues that you've just mentioned now, but more than that, you're providing like quality engagement. You're speaking a love language for so many people that have yeah. kind of been abandoned and neglected, right? 100%. Um, let me tell you something. So I, I believe that everyone's got a gift. Mm. And that moment, I looked myself in the mirror, I, I've always known this gift of mine. And I, you either take an opportunity, which I was given to you from a good friend in the name of Al Alistair, Alistair MacDonald. He said to me, come and, come and do what you, what you do, what you love. And I believe everything you do in life, you've got to do it with passion. Yes. If I eat a hamburger, I eat that thing with passion. <laughs> <laughs> so to sit with, a, sit with an elderly lady with, with, a, with a biscuit and have a conversation, yeah. like you said, you don't need to have millions. You don't need to have big cars and fancy this and that to have a conversation. That is for free. Kindness is for free. My motto is kindness in action. That's that's my GMF. That's the Greenwich Foundation motto. And kindness in action. Kindness in I action. Love that, so I, I believe you ask yourself, are you a doer or are you a talker? And I'm hoping to believe I'm a I'm a doer. So what I say, I must do. 
I'm a visionary kind of guy, so I picture things. I, people that say I can't, I'll do. If they tell me to go left, I'm going to go right. <laughs> I'm just one of those guys that take a lot of risks. Um, but yeah, I've got a good, good support structure around me, which is important, your family and your close friends. Follow your heart, and I think I can tell you what, anyone can do whatever, whatever they dream of. Eh? Craig, you magic, are so man. inspiring. Your story this morning has just like sent goosebumps. I'm sure, like I'm trying to hold back the tears here. But how do people get involved in doing something that you are doing with your foundation? Just yeah. maybe just so, to support you and your tribe while you're doing the work out there. So, so how I can say this is, um, I think people that are in a good position or 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 a, or a, a, positive, a nice position to have own restaurants. Um, things like that in, in the flight industry or something like that where they can have elderly. So what I do is I, I, take, uh, I take a lot of elderly to, and, and I pamper them. So I get friends who have like a nail beautician shops or, or they do hair, not mine, I'll do perm. <laughs> but um, so what we'll do is we'll get together, I'll take my team in there and we'll pamper them. We'll do their nails, we'll, we'll do their hair and you won't believe the expressions you get there. Um, it's, it's, it's incredible. So I think those who are in a position that can can afford to maybe make cash donations. Um, my, I've got my website, it's www.gmf.co.za. Um, That's what I want to do. Um, people can see what I'm doing with it. Um, I can't hide, and like I said, I'm a doer. So I like to put it out there and get things going. All right, Craig, well, thank you so much for inspiring us and there's some Zanzi to do as well. We can't thank you enough for your soul, your presence and your energy, what it's doing for us. Of course, you can get him online, the Mitchley Foundation. I'll otherwise, check out the website, gmf.c.za. Get involved, do something special, and of course, send all that energy to a loved one that needs it because you don't know how much effect you have in this world. <laughs>